Hey, I'm back with yet another solar panel review. This time it's the To-Go Power's 120 watt portable folding solar panel. Now, I recently did a video on both the 100 watt uh, sol solar panel and the A650 600 watt uh, power supply or power station from To-Go Power. I'll leave a, a link up here if you haven't seen that. Um, but I really like that unit. It's a very well-made unit, so I like what's coming from To-Go Power. This is going to be my first look at their 120-watt solar panel. So let's get this out of the box and find out what we got. Actually, I already had it out of the box. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet, so I don't know what's in here yet, but I did unbox it. So let's find out what's inside the, uh, the pouch on the back. I can tell you that it already it's, it's got that nice heavy-duty Oxford uh, canvas that most of the really well-built panels are using. Um, it has got a nice multi-headed adapter cable. So it looks like straight out of the panel, it's got the 8 millimeter connector, and then it has got a, an adapter cable from there to go from the 800 and let's see what we've got on here. Wow. Okay. So this got just about everything except the aviation style. So this has an XT60 type connector. If you've got that kind of device or if your power station has an XT60 input on it, it's got an Anderson input on it, which a lot of the higher end ones will now have. And it has got a, it looks like a couple of styles of the, uh, like the 5521, the five, five and a half millimeter connector. So it's, it should have you uh, covered with the cables that it comes with, except for that two pin uh, aviation style that some uh, power stations need. That's not as common as all the ones on here, but this should have you covered for almost all the power stations out there. So on, on the module here, and I'll put a picture up here of a close up of it, but it's got one type A and one type C. And the type A is, is uh, capable of producing up to 24 volts max. And the type C is a PD 45 watt uh, port. So anything up to 45 watts out, directly from that type C port. So that's pretty cool. Now this is a monocrystalline panel and it weighs in at just under uh, 10 pounds. Now looking at the panel itself, kind of get into some of the other features while we got it here. Uh, just a standard nylon strap. Now it's not stretchy, so I can't extend it any further than that. So that's its maximum uh, angle that I'm gonna be able to get out of it. And let's see what we've got on the inside here. All right, so it looks like, so as I mentioned, a four panel design with two legs, right? So not four legs, but two legs, but they're nice wide legs. Sometimes these things can get a little unwieldy with four legs. It's got that nice, really uh, durable ETFE coating on it. So let's jump forward and test this thing in a variety of sky conditions and see how it performs. All right, here we've got both of the to-go powers, 100 watt as the top one and the 120 watt is the bottom one. So you can see it folds up a bit smaller, almost half the size of the 100 watt, interestingly enough. All right, so you can see I've got both panels unfolded now. This is the, the 120 right there, and that's the 100 from To-Go Power. And the four panel design, as you can see, I've got these aligned up, kind of aligned to the, the sun as equally as I could get them. And you can see with the two leg design, you know, I get a little bit of sag on this outer panel, uh, but uh, you know, it's not horrible. That's pretty common for a, the, you know, for a four panel design. The, obviously the, the alternative is to have more legs, but then you end up with even more of a wrestling match when you're trying to set them up. So the four panel design does take about 20 more seconds, you know, to get it set up than the two panel, which is just kind of unfold and go. Um, so from a convenience standpoint, the two panel 100 watt is a little easier, uh, but we'll see if it, uh, if the 120 actually generates more power because at least if your priorities are similar to mine, I would prefer to have a little more power and then you know just a little bit more convenient so it's a it's a simple trade-off for me but uh, let's see how we're doing on power right now so i tried to do a test yesterday uh, but the conditions were so variable i really couldn't get a fair comparison but today as you can see we have got pretty much even though there's a few puffy clouds sun is not near any of them so we got a nice solid dependable condition that we can actually do some comparisons. So we're kind of solid at 81 or 82 watts here on the 100 watt panel. Let me uh, switch over here, use the Anderson connector. 
to the 200 watt panel. And let's see how we do here. So I think we're looking for about something better than 81 or 82 watts. So we're doing a little better. So 85 watts. This is rated 20% higher at 120 watts. So we're not we're not getting anywhere near that 20% bump that kind of you would think. And that's fairly typical, um, at least in my experience with these 120 watt panels. Now let's do a shading test on these two panels. I'm just gonna sort of simulate, you know, a, a shadow <laughs> that you would get, you know, from a tree branch or something. And I'm just gonna lay this across one of the panels. And let's see, I'm currently taking power on the 100, so let's do that one. I'm just gonna lay that right in the middle like that. All right, and let's just see. We were consistently getting about 80 watts. And uh, we are getting 75, 73 watts, so somewhere in that vicinity. Let's just see if it makes any difference whether or not we kind of shade across the panel, kind of like that. Still pretty consistent, low 70s. So not bad, not bad. Let's try 120 watt panel and see if it fares any better on the shading test. Let's see what we're getting first of all. 80, 82 watts. Let's take the uh, stick and put it right across the one part there. I know, so we only got, yeah, maybe three or four watts down. Not many, maybe three watts. I wonder if I bring it across just a little bit, see what that does. Can I see, taking it diagonally. Not a huge difference, so high 70s. So I do feel like that is one thing. This uh, this particular 120 watt panel seems to be doing a little bit better with uh, minimal shading than the 100 watt. So the difference is not significant, but there is a difference there for sure. All right, we're gonna do a test here. It is fairly late in the, or early in the evening, I shall say, 7.30 in the evening. So we have sun low in the sky, but unobstructed for at least a few minutes here. And uh, so it's got a lot more atmosphere to get through. So I'm curious, uh, under these conditions, how these panels are gonna do. All right, let's do the 100 watt from to-go power first. So we can get this done before little clouds move in. All right, so we are getting 49 watts, 50 watts. Okay, so 50 watts. Let's bring the 120 watt panel in from to-go powers and see what we get. See if we do any better than 50 watts. All right, so we're doing 54 watts. So call it 8% better. Definitely not 20% better. All right, so I found the test results a little bit surprising. You know, rated at 120 watts output, I really did expect it to give me a little better output than I got out of it as compared to the 100 watt version. I think what's more reasonable is that you're likely to see somewhere around eight or 10% more output, at least based on the, you know, the results that I've seen in the handful of 120 watt portable solar panels that I've been able to test. That said, you know, if you look at the, the form factor of this thing, and it, it is quite a bit different than the than the 100 watt when you fold it up. So I mean, one you know one potential reason I think or one potential advantage is if you need something that's very small when it's folded up. The other possible advantage that I found, as you as you saw with the shading test, is I think because of the four panel design and way the individual panels are wired, um, you do get a little bit of benefit in the less loss of output when you have some minimal shading on one of the panels, like a tree branch or something like that, as compared to a two panel design. At least um, that's how it looked to me. So um, that's another possible reason why you know this might make sense. This is a very well built panel, I will say that. It's very high quality construction. Um, I like the fact that it comes with uh, a multi-headed adapter, so you can put it in 
natively with an 8mm or if you've got something else, whether it's a 5.5mm, an Anderson style connector. That should have you covered for most things, except as I mentioned, it doesn't have an aviation style, one of those two pin twist on style connectors. So that aside, going into this, as long as you understand that you're probably not going to get 20% more output, um, I think you can kind of weigh the pros and cons in terms of the cost differential between the 100 and the 120 watt. And I'm pretty sure that the discount codes that To Go Power gave me when I did the the last video on the A650 and the 100 watt panel, I think they still apply even to this 120 watt panel. So check that out in the description below if it's something that you want to take a look at, and then make a decision whether or not you know one of those makes you know a, a more sense for you versus the other. So that's about all I got for you on the solar panel this time. I do have a couple of videos in the queue that are, I think are gonna be very interesting. There's their power station reviews again, uh, but these power stations are gonna have uh, some very different characteristics or features than things that I have reviewed previously. So I'm pretty excited about these and I will see how they come out and how the testing goes. And we'll find out again if they're worth a look. So hopefully you found some of this information helpful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Would really appreciate that. And thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have fun out there. But thanks for sticking with me. If any of you found out... So that aside, going... Hopefully you found some of this information helpful. If you did, please give... So hopefully you said...